this is Drev222. The other day I decided to dust off my Asus 1005 HAB. I believe it's the same as a 1005 HA, uh, just has a blue cover on it. Um, I decided to upgrade it from Windows 7 Starter to Windows 10. It never really was that impressive with Windows 7 Starter. I had upgraded it from 1 gig of RAM to 2. Uh, which is the max for this system and then I upgraded it from a hard drive to SSD and it was a lot better than stock but it still just wasn't that overall impressive. Uh, with Windows 10 though it runs pretty well if I do say so myself and um, really I, I only had a one issue uh, with installing it. it. It installed fairly fairly easily. Um, if I go in here real quick, it's still still kind of uh, figuring out what it's doing here. Um, but I can show you the, the system specs. There you go, the uh, N270 dual core, uh, 1.6 gigahertz, 2 gigs of RAM, and of course it's 32-bit Windows 10 that it's running. Um, but it runs pretty well. The only issue that I had uh, really was it came up with a APCI error. Um, it said that it, it had failed and uh, the driver needed to be reloaded. Um, what I did was went on Ace, ASUS's uh, support page and they didn't have files for the 1005 H, HAB or at least not very many but they did for the 1005 HA so I went into drivers um, under under the OS I picked the 32-bit uh, and then Scroll down to ATK, and this first one here, the KB filter. I downloaded that, and uh, if you try to run it as is, it'll come up with an error message that it's uh, the wrong version of Windows. But if you extract everything from it, you can actually open up. There's two folders, one for hotkey and one for the KB filter. I ran the hotkey and followed that with the KB filter, restarted the computer, and it resolved the APCI failure. So um, everything's good to go. It runs like a champ. It is so much faster than it was, um, you know, with Windows 7 starter. So if you got an old uh, netbook lying around, uh, it's definitely worthwhile to do the upgrade to Windows 10.